Good day everyone, this is Sir Jenmart and welcome to our science class. Our lesson for today is about weather instruments and weather components. What is weather? Ano nga ba ang weather? So weather refers to the condition of the atmosphere of a place in a short period of time. Yung atmosphere, yun yung kapag lumabas tayo ng bahay, then tumingin tayo sa taas, yan yung ating atmosphere o sa Tagalog, kalangitan. O yung iba pang tawag dyan sa English, yung sky. Okay, yun yung atmosphere. So, weather ay yung sky condition, condition ng sky natin sa lugar kung saan tayo naroroon. O, nagbabago lagi ang sky condition sa bawat oras. So, ano-ano nga ba yung alam yung weather? O yung weather na na-experience natin dito sa Philippines. So, magpapakita si sir ng picture and then tingnan ko kung alam nyo yung weather na iyon. So, look at this picture. Can you guess the weather in this picture? I'll give you 5 seconds to answer. It is sunny weather. Next, what weather is in the picture? Correct. Cloudy weather. Next, what weather is this? Correct, windy weather. Next, what weather is in the picture? Yes, it is rainy weather. What weather is in the picture? Correct. It is stormy. So, here in our country, we experience this kind of weather. Sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, and stormy weather. Look outside your window. What is the weather here in Malabon? I want you to write the weather in your area on your answer sheet beside your name. Who is he? Kilala nyo ba siya? Do you know who he is? Parang naririnig ko na yung sagot nyo. Yes, he is Nathaniel Cruz or Mang Tani. He is a meteorologist. Ano nga ba ang isang meteorologist? So, a meteorologist studies weather elements or components. Pinag-aaralan nila ang kalagayan ng panahon na ating nararanasan. Kung gusto nyo maging meteorologist, ang pag-aaralan nyo pagdating ng araw, pag college na kayo ay meteorology. Meteorology is the study of all changes in the atmosphere that affects the weather. Pag-aaral ito ng mga pagbabago ng ating atmosphere that affects the weather. There are six main components or parts of weather. Those are temperature, atmospheric pressure, humidity, precipitation, wind, and cloudiness. Temperature, that is the hotness or coldness of the air. High temperature means mainit. Low temperature means malamig. Dito sa atin, sa Metro Manila, our normal room temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Higher than that means mainit. Lower than 30 degrees Celsius means malamig. Number two, atmospheric pressure means the effect of weight of air in our atmosphere. Kapag malakas ang hangin sa atmosphere, mas mabigat ang pressure. Kapag malakas ang atmospheric pressure, malamang maganda ang magiging panahon. Kapag mahina ang atmospheric pressure, asahan na may parating na pagulan. Next, humidity. Humidity is the amount of moisture of vapor in the air. Kapag mataas ang moisture content ng atmosphere, palatandaan ito na uulan. Number 4, precipitation or amount of rainfall or in Tagalog, dami ng ulan. So, sinusukat nito kung ganong kadami yung bumagsak na ulan sa isang lugar. Number 5, wind is a natural movement of air, paggalaw ng air. 
nakaka-apekto ito sa ating weather depende kung saan nang gagaling or saan ito pupunta. Kadalasan, napupush ni wind si cloud sa atmosphere. Number 6. Cloudiness or clouds It is a mass of condensed water vapor floating in the atmosphere In our past lesson, napag-aralan natin na kapag napuno na ang clouds ng water vapor, bibigat ito Then kapag bumigat ito, pwedeng magdala ng precipitation or rain sa ating lugar Okay, again ha, there are six main components or parts of a weather Temperature, atmospheric pressure, humidity, precipitation, wind, and cloudiness. Paano naman natin nalalaman yung mga components ng weather? Paano ba natin nalalaman ng temperature? Paano ba natin nalalaman ng atmospheric pressure, ang humidity, ang precipitation, ang wind? Paano ba natin yung nalalaman? So, ang mga meteorologist, gumagamit sila ng mga weather instruments. Dito na papasok yung mga weather instruments. Okay. Now, ano-ano po ba yon? So, isa-isayin natin yung mga weather instruments. Number one, thermometer. Thermometer measures temperature. The red line in the middle, that is mercury. Tataas yan kapag hot ang temperature. Bababa naman yan kapag malamig. Number two, barometer. Barometer measures atmospheric pressure. Yung atmospheric pressure, yan yung weight of air in the atmosphere. Number 3, hygrometer. It measures humidity or the amount of moisture in the air. Minimeasure nga yung mga water vapor na pumupunta sa air yung liquid na nagiging gas number 4 rain gauge rain gauge measures precipitation or the amount of rainfall kung ganong kadaming ulan ang binagsak sa isang lugar number 5 wind vane wind vane tells the direction of the wind kung saan ito nanggagaling at kung saan ito pupunta. Kadalasan, sabi nga ni Sir Ganina, ang wind tinutulak yung clouds na kung saan yung clouds may dalang precipitation, lalo na kapag mabigat na yung cloud. So, ang wind vane, sinasabi niya yung direction kung saan papunta yung wind. And last, anemometer. So, anemometer measures the wind speed o yung bilis o lakas ng hangin lalo na kapag may bagyo. Minimeasure yun ng activity time, direction, 
unscramble the letters to identify the word or the words being described in each statement. Number one, weather element that refers to the amount of moisture present in the air. The answer is humidity. Number two, a tool used to measure the amount of precipitation in an area. Rain gauge. Number three, it is the study of all the changes in the atmosphere that affects weather. Meteorology Next, a weather instrument that gives the direction of the wind. Wind vane It is the condition of the atmosphere over an area for a short period of time. Weather. Are your answers correct? Very good. A round of applause. Very good. Okay, so these are the things that we should remember. Common weather instruments and the weather components. Anemometer, a device used to measure wind speed. Wind vane, an instrument used to show the direction of the wind. Thermometer, an instrument or tool used to measure temperature. Hygrometer, an instrument used to measure the relative humidity. Barometer, an instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure in a specific area. Rain gauge, an instrument used by meteorologists and hydrologists to gather and measure the amount of rainfall in each area. Time for our next activity. Direction. Name the weather instrument based on their description and picture. It measures the amount of rainfall in an area. Rain gauge. An instrument that measures atmospheric pressure. Barometer A tool that measures wind speed Anemometer It measures the amount of moisture in the air Hygrometer it measures the hotness and coldness of a given area. Thermometer. Are your answers correct? Very good. A round of applause. Now, get your answer sheet and let's answer the assessment on your module. So in this part, sasagutan nyo na to sa inyong answer sheet, the assessment. Direction. Write true if the statement is correct. False if not. Okay, let us read. Number one. Meteorology are the scientists who observe and study the atmosphere and its changes. Number two. Wind vane is an instrument that can be used to tell the speed of wind. Number three. Humidity is a weather element that refers to the amount of pressure present in the atmosphere. Number four, there are seven main components or parts of weather. Five, barometer is the instrument that can measure wind direction. So again, you will answer this on your answer sheet. Answer only. 
it's uh, right true if the statement is correct false if not if you have questions don't hesitate to message me okay for our advanced study on your notebook write five safety precautions during different weather conditions so i hope you learned something today see you next time see you on our next video bye